Rachel and today I am back with a little unboxing video. This is a planner that you guys know that I'm expecting. This is my Harriet Wright Designs A5 Wide. I purchased this on the website during the Black Friday sale and it meant that I got a £14 discount which I thought was really good. I can't remember the total price of it normally. All the information will be on the website. I'll link the website down below. Um, there is currently a sale on as I'm filming this. I don't know if it includes planners and I also don't know if it will still be up when I post this video up which hopefully will be tomorrow. Uh, but do go out and check the website. I don't pay off here or anything. It's just where I like to get my memory planners from. Um, but usually, as you know, I always buy a B6 and it was a B6 undated that I went on the website to buy. But for some reason, I just thought, let's try an A5 wide. And then I realised that she was doing dated planners. And one of the things that, I don't want to say annoy, because that's quite a strong word. It didn't annoy me, I just wished it was a bit different. Uh, with the dated planner, uh, sorry, with the undated B6 planner was the extra pages that I would have left in some of the months. Because the planner was undated, it meant that you could start that planner any month of the year that you wanted. So... There was five weeks in every single one, but if it was a week where, so if it was a month like February for instance, and there was a week where you would not be using it, you'd end up with like a blank page, and it really annoyed me. If I'd have been smarter, then I could have been through it before I started it and took any extra pages out. That is far too much fuss for me, I don't want to be doing that. So, I ended up going on there for a B6 undated, and I came away with an A5 wide dated, and I am very happy with my choice thus far, we have not opened it yet. Let's get it open now. Anyway, it came in the usual way. It was packaged in a, I think it was a bag. It was packaged in one of the bags with my address on it, which I have taken off, but I have not been in here. It's in the usual black box. Although I do vaguely remember that last time the box did have Harriet Wright designs written on it. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. This is going to be great for uh, any kind of posting swaps that I do, which I do do sometimes in some makeup groups. This is a very handy sized box for that. So let's get this open and see what is in here. So, ooh. Okay, so I can actually give you the pricing details because I found the little invoice. I've just folded it so that you can't see my address. So I got the Fashion Outline Dated A5 Wise Vertical Planner. I chose the rose gold coil. You get a choice on your hardware on this one. So it should have been £46. I got a £14.10 discount and it was £32.89. £37.89 with shipping, which I didn't think was too bad. Uh, at all and I'm pretty sure that the reason why I decided to do this one is because the price of it total was what I was expecting to pay for the B6 without a discount because I'm sure Harriet Wright Designs has done a sale before where you didn't get discount on the planners I think the planners weren't included anyway so I think this is packaged a little bit differently than the last time I got one my unboxing for the B6 will be on the channel somewhere yeah, I would say that I'd go back and find it, but we all know that's not true. Uh, but if you do search in the search bar, I'm sure it will come up. So we've got some of this, like what's this stuff? Polythene stuff uh, with the sticker on. And then we have got the beautiful planner here. Oh, okay. So size wise, it's not too different to the B6. As in, I was worried that it was going to be huge and I didn't want huge. So I'm happy with that. It's just packaged in this nice little tissue paper. We have got the fashion outline and it's clear to see that this gorgeous fashion girl is why it's called that. We've got the florals on there, which really is what I was just drawn to. I just thought they were beautiful. And then on the back, we have got the plain cover with the Harriet Wright Designs little um, writing on the back there. So let's get off this page so we're going to avoid the glare. So we have got, should we do the planner first or the freebies? Let's do the... Um, freebies first. Are they freebies? I seem to have three of these tabby post-it notes. I've got two in my hand here and I can see that there's one in there as well. I've got the colour sand and the colour linen. Now I do use these sometimes when I'm trying to tab something off. Mainly off camera. I use them as the week go through if I need to flick back to a page. I don't think you've probably seen too many of them in my planet. And then there is one in here as well. I don't know if I use them enough to warrant having three packets worth. But it's nice to get them. I don't think I paid for them. I definitely didn't buy them, but I don't know if like they're included in the price of the bundle. I'm making a mess of this wrapping. Okay, so something that you did get in here is, there's the other one of those, which seems to be the same colour as that one. So I've got a spare. Uh, yeah, something that you did get in with it is the tabs. So these are the tabs 
that. Can I avoid that glare if I put them there? Okay, so these are the little tab uh, stickers that are going to go on the side of these. Also, something that I'm just noticing is that these dividers are not as thick as the last Harriet Wright Designs planner that I had. So these tab stickers come automatically in the bundle and they will come matching the coil choice that you make, the colour of the coil. Um, I think previously you did have to pay separately for these. You could pay separately for them and add them in, but uh, now they just come with the planner, which is nice. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them. I might buy the ones from Josephine Bow Designs because I love those ones, but I'm not sure yet. We'll see. I'll see how I feel. I'll see how I feel. So, A5 wide, and we've got 12 months, and it is dated. The first page is this nice vellum page. Uh, so that's a nice thick vellum. Then I've got the planner belongs to... This page is a page that has always been in the planners. Plan a life you love. There are dreamers and there are planners. The planners make their dreams come true. And that is a quote from Edwin Lewis Cole. And that is always in there as well. And then we get into the year at a glance. We've got 2023 and 2024. Well, I have a tip for you guys, actually. I saw this in a Facebook group. I can't credit the person. Unfortunately, I'm not sure who it was that first uh, figured this out. But if you have any 2017 dated planners that you did not use, you can use them for 2023 because the calendar is the same, apparently. I haven't fact-checked that, I've just trusted the person on YouTube that I don't know. But apparently, if you have any 2017 uh, diaries, or I guess if you went on Amazon and searched for a 2017 diary, it would be cheaper than a 2023 one. Anyway, yeah, the dates match up to 2023, so there, information for you that you might find useful. 2023, 2024, and then we are on to this page here, which has got a grid page. Now, what I'm going to do with these pages, if I find any through, there might just be a few at the front and most at the back gonna stick some pictures on them I think then we are on our first divider so these acetate dividers are not as thick as they used to be you could never have bended bent you could never have bent the other ones but I am bending this one just fine and I am a fan it made the planner really really bulky this planner is going to bulk up because as you guys know I'm a very heavy stickerer um, so yeah any um, any space saving that can be done I am a fan of so then we are straight into this page which has got 12 boxes on. Of course one for each month of the year and you could use this to mark your birthdays or maybe you could put the um, months in and then a quote for each month or your favourite thing that you did that month or one picture per month, anything. Just a nice little um, year at a glance that you can document something that's important to you. So then after that we move on to another dot grid page and then we are in to January. Do we have a tab for the beginning? What would I use for the beginning? Notes, goals, miscellaneous or 2023? I think given the fact that it's got the year at a glance and then that, I don't know what you want to call it, you could use it for forward planning or anything. It depends on the way that you're using your planner. I personally, on that first tab, will probably use the 2023 one. And then we are into January. So we've got this dot grid page and it takes you straight into your dated monthly, which I am a big fan of. I have got a sticker order from Harriet Wright Designs on the way. I had a little 30% off code and I did decide to buy the January monthly stickers. Thinking about it, I didn't look to see whether or not they would fit this planner. I know they weren't B6 or whether or not they would fit a 7x9. But since I noticed that Harriet Wright Designs didn't sell a 7x9, it would make sense that it would fit this. But we will do that in a video and we will see if it fits. But I like that. I like the size of the boxes. They are good. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use them just to put my monthly calendar on or whether I'm going to use them to do mood tracking. Maybe I could do an emoji a day, or I don't know, some people do the weather, we'll see. But then we move straight into our weeklies. So we've got dated weeklies there. The dates, the dates and the writing there is very subtle. Uh, it's definitely readable, and if you wanted to leave it like that, then that's fine. But I would imagine there's not gonna be much problem covering those with a sticker. Um, and they're going to be quite small. They're going to be quite easy to cover up with the little, what do you call it? Why, why do I want to say the fix it? What is that stuff? Tipex. Tipex. 
So I will have edited out the gap, but let me tell you that was a good 10 minutes until that word came into my head. Yeah, they're not going to be too hard to tip X out, I don't think. So I decided to go for this planner instead of the B6, as you guys know. And in the B6, it would have been a split date from Saturday and Sunday. Now that didn't bother me per se, but it was a little bit annoying when Saturday and Sunday were busy and I didn't have enough space. Um, so I'm quite excited to be able to do a full day for Saturday and Sunday as well. Not sure what I'm going to do over here. Chances are this is just going to end up being a bit of deco, maybe some washi, or if I have a bigger kit that has more stickers, maybe that type of thing. I could put a tracker over here and track a highlight of the day or anything. I've got the possibilities are endless. I will tell you actually who one of my favourite accounts to watch um, is that uses this style of layout in a planner in Kiara's planner I have been watching her for a good few years probably since the beginning of when I was planning and she does a layout like this and she does them absolutely beautifully really floral and girly and just absolutely gorgeous so yeah I'm very excited to maybe try and be inspired by her and do some of those types of layouts in here so we have got all of January like so now then the first of february here falls on a wednesday and they have put it in the january what goes on in the february then it goes straight to the six see now that's what i like now in the other one at the end of this because it was the february month i would have had a blank month and i couldn't rip it out because on the back of it was the dot grid what i should have done but didn't do was rip out a page before i'd done the monthly uh, before I'd done the weekly spreads and then it would have been better but can you see the fuss with that and and I don't think ahead you know what I'm like uh, so I'm happy to have this fuss free so we've got February we've got March we've got April May I've lost track June July August September October November December let's pretend I did that right and then on to this one here which is going to be notes pages I believe and we have got, let's see what we've got. We have got, oh, a variety. We've got dot grid. We have got square grid, just grid, small grid. We have got lined with notes at the top, more notes. And then we've got this last one here, which has got the Harriet Wright Designs logo on it. And then another piece of vellum. Now, in all honesty, I am possibly not going to use this section. I'm going to leave the tab there and maybe I will leave the notes pages there but if I find that my coil is getting too chunky I will possibly remove these three pages but we'll see we'll just see what happens so yeah that is my Harriet Wright Designs planner for memory planning in 2023 and I'm really really happy that I've chosen that size actually I was worried that it was going to be bigger than I expected it to be but actually I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, I'm going to try and do more plan with me's in my memory planner. I did finish my memory planner last year. Oh, that's. Uh, I am going to finish it. I'm not as far behind as you might think, Robin. I know Robin will be tutting behind the camera at that uh, because she laughed at me last year so bad. It was like um, August and she's like, where are you in your memory planner? And I was like, oh yeah, I'm in March. <laughs> <laughs> she used to laugh at how far behind I was um, I'm only one month behind and I will catch up uh, but yeah because what was happening was I was doing spreads in it while I was like watching something on Netflix but I'm going to try and do more on camera because it's a different layout to what you're used to on my channel and I think um, I think there'll be people that will enjoy those videos but yes that is my Harriet Wright Designs A5 wide planner that I'm going to be using for memory planning in 2023 and that's going to be it from me for today if you like this video if you can give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe I'll love you forever and I'll see you soon Bye!